Hey, popcorn junkies! How are we all? Um, welcome to the Popcorn Junkies. I'm re 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 reacting to a trailer. This is a this is a big deal. Um, Christmas movies, Christmas movies. It feels like Hollywood has just kissed goodbye to the whole concept, the 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 ethos of you know creating a film like The Grinch or Home Alone or um, The Grinch or Home Alone or do you know what I mean? Christmas movies, you know, even even A Christmas Carol, you know, the animated version with uh, Jim Carrey. What's happened to the good old fashioned family? Get everyone around, all of you together, appealing to all ages, you know, family Christmas movie. Elf, of course, Elf, that's the other one we haven't thought of. Um, well, this is a film called Red One. Curious time of the year to drop the trailer, you may ask, or may suggest, or may say, but hey, when are you going to drop the trailer if your film is landing at Christmas? This is Dwayne The Rock Johnson's major movie of the year. And Dwayne The Rock Johnson has gone through something of a behind the scenes, a bit of a sort of turbulence, I would say. He's experienced turbulence with his star status. After Black Adam at DC Films, things went a bit a bit weird. I think there was an assumption in his camp that this was going to just change DC Films and it didn't. It flopped like mad. Um, and also he's kind of reached back into his his wrestling uh, sort of heritage and his, his wrestling fan base. And I think he's recharacterized himself or he's re-entered the kind of wrestling world as something of a villain. There's been lots of talk about him running for election, being sort of tapped up by the two parties, the Democrats, the Republicans. Uh, and of course, the most uh, recent thing we've seen in trailer form is him voice, voice acting for the Moana 2 trailer. So we've got two films that could put course correct. They could call, not that he's on, on course incorrect, but I think he's kind of, I think Dwayne The Rock Johnson's in a bit of a limbo place at the moment. You know, he was the kind of golden boy and then he's kind of like, oh, what next? And so there's a lot being kind of heaped onto this film in terms of it. It's sort of, you know, a lot of expectation, a lot of pressure, a lot of desire for it to kind of, you know, do things that, that as I say, no Christmas movie has done in a one. So it stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It also stars Chris Evans. It's directed by Jake Kasdan. Now, Jake Kasdan is the the man behind two of what I think are two of the best Dwayne The Rock Johnson films in recent years, the two Jumanji films, the, the Jumanji follow-up to the original. I'm not talking about the Robin Williams, you know, the 2017 one with Kevin Hart and the Jumanji The Next Level. I thought they were both sensationally funny, uh, but how much of that was because of Kevin Hart and Jack Black, uh, we'll, we'll never know. Uh, he, he's, he's got comic bones, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, um, but we've got in this, we've got J.K. Simmons playing Santa Claus. And has Santa Claus gone missing? Is Are they on the hunt for him? Is there something like that going on? Can this be sassy and family? The art of a good Christmas film, I think, is being able to appeal to the child within the adult, the adult within the child, the child within the child, the adult within the adult, and all at the same time appealing to the, the dog and the cat. If you can do all of that, it's a win-win-win. 497. 498. 499. 500. Let's go heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Looking strong, Nick. Go on, brush your shoulders off. Then when is I lose? Evening, ladies. What are you so excited about? Of course, your boyfriend's here. Okay. okay. It's good so far. Who's with Red? Reach! Someone took Nick. We're gonna find him. I'm bringing in Jack O'Malley. He's probably the best tracker in the world. The guy's a legend. What am I doing here? Last night, Red One, also known as St. Nicholas of Myra, was abducted from the North Pole complex. Are you saying Santa Claus has been kidnapped? Garcia? What the hell? You can't trust this guy, he's on the list. You don't mean yes. that list. NL4. Are you telling me this clown is a level four naughty lister? A level four naughty lister? Oh, is that funny? Hey, 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 hey. You're going to help us find Nick. Come on, let's go. Grab a car. For what? You don't have a Wonder Woman action figure, do you? <laughs> not how it works. Come on. That's funny. There is much in here that is not of the natural world. Who's that? Krampus. What are they doing? They're playing crapper slop. He, he 
think if you don't need me here, I might just go back to the car. Do you need me? We need to prepare for the possibility of no Christmas. There's worse ways to go out than trying to save Santa Claus. We got Snowman! That was so disturbing. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. My turn! Oh my god. Is my face still there? Yeah, yeah, you look good. Uh, quite believe I laughed, I chuckled, I was shocked, I marvelled, I giggled, I go for, I tell you who I think is going to be the guilty pleasure then, it's a shame that he gets kidnapped, because I'm presi well maybe, you know, we'll see him kidnapped, but um, J.K. Simmons, if you want some real kind of proof of how excellently, surreally, camp overplaying it funny he can be, just check out Palm Springs. Check out the movie Palm Springs for J.K. Simmons's repeated cameo. It's it's very, very funny. I thought that looked good. And what surprised me about that trailer, actually, is I always expect Dwayne Little Johnson to be quite comfortable with that kind of comic send-up of his kind of tough guy image. I thought Chris Evans looked quite good there. You could have got to the point where maybe he was a bit it was a bit too much to have Chris and him. But I thought Chris Evans looked funny. You know, with the kind of self-effacing, um, can I get out of this? Nice little gag there about sort of transforming the car into a giant car. Can I have a giant Wonder Woman? I thought that was funny. So I think there's humour in there. I think there's sass in there. I was feeling, I was, that's Toffee snoring. I was feeling that sense of humour that you get in Jumanji, where in a sense, <clears throat> the filmmaker, Jake Kasdan, makes a virtue of how obviously CGI this whole thing is. So they all, you know, by kind of going, it's a snowman and then he's chopped in half and he gets on top. I thought, I like that. And he goes, that's really disturbing. I don't know, there's a kind of, you've either got a, it's, it's a bit like that phrase, you know, uh, prepared, no, not prepared to be embarrassed. Unless you're prepared to make a fool of yourself, make a fool of yourself. Do you know what I mean? Go full out. And I think he's gone full out in the effects, full out in the CGI and the lunacy, talking polar bears, naughty lists. J.K. Simmons is cool and down with it and listens to rap and it does weights. And I, I, you know, there's enough there for me to be convinced to watch it. What do you think, guys?